joined by with Lucy and I am going to be using the Sparkling Snowfall, Snowfall Collection from Bargain Bee Box. I got my box probably about a week, no, two weeks ago or so. I don't know, it was really early. I was, I was shocked, especially because everybody has been having problems with their um, boxes showing up due to all the extra packages that are being sent all over the place right now. So we're gonna be using some pieces from that. Um, Veronica did a lovely job unboxing and um, the collection's beautiful. And again, it seems like everyone is like right in line with their color schemes um, for the last couple months, it's perfect. So um, I don't really want to do something wintry. Um, I saw winter when I opened it, but I also saw like spring and skies and um, raindrops and I think I want to do something that's not really maybe Michigan wintry. Well, it kind of is right now because we've been getting a lot of rain. It's weird. No snow, but rain. So it's going to be wintry, but not wintry if you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get ready to turn you guys around and we'll get moving on this necklace. Okay, I'm back and um, this is what we're going to be using today. So I have from my own stash one of these um, little flower, big flower bead caps. We're going to use one of these and we're going to make a tassel of sorts. I've been really into the tassels again for some reason. Um, I have some chain from my own stash. I did not, I'm not using the bargain bead box chain. I wanted a little bit bigger of a link to use, so I'm going with mine. I am using one of their toggle clasps though. I do like these toggle clasps. They're really cute. They're really different. Um, we have the uh, 4x8 um, crystal fast twist beads in um, slate blue iris that we'll be using. These are really pretty. And we have some of the, um, oh, these are the 13 by nine millimeter glass top drill teardrop beads in crystal AB. So we're using some of those. We are using some of the eight millimeter London blue agate beads. Very pretty. We have some of the, um, these were like a, what were those? Really tiny little, I can't seem to find it on the list right now, but little blue beads. <laughs> And then we have the crystal faceted bicone beads. So we're gonna be using all of those today. And um, I think those were three millimeter, three millimeter appetite faceted beads. I think that's what that was. So this is what we're going to be doing. And um, I am going to also be using some of, again, my trusty um, seven, strand beadalon satin silver wire. We're going to be using some of that. And I have my bindings, like my head pins and such. And I even have some spacers from my own stash again. Um, seems like I like to use that and I have all my jump rings and stuff. So we have all those items and um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get ready to do this. I'm going to put my glasses on and we'll be ready to go. All right, I did not try anything with this yet, but I'm wondering how um, this wire will do um, being used in like dangle form. So we're gonna try it on one of these and see um, what it ends up looking like. Um, if anything, if we need to, we can scrap that idea and resort to chain, but I'm trying to avoid wrapping some briolettes, um, but we'll see. We'll see, if I have to, I have to, and you know, it's not really a big deal. So I'm just gonna cut one for right now, and this is probably about a four and a half inch um, strand here. So what I essentially wanna do is I wanna make some, um, some little drops that come out of the bottom of this, but I want them to be beaded and or chain. So I want these on the bottom because I want them to look like little raindrops. So let's just kind of see if we can play with this and see what we can come up with. And if this doesn't work, like I said, I can scrap this idea 
and it's not going to hurt my feelings. So we'll just have to um, do some wire wrapping, you know, the briolettes. So sorry, I've been playing around in my little indoor plants today and moving some stuff around and I don't think I got all the dirt out from underneath my nails. I need to break out my little scrub brush and scrub my nails really well. All right, so I'm thinking it might be okay. I don't know if I'm gonna really like that. You know what, let's see, let's just see how what it looks like. Let's go ahead and crimp this um, little crimp bean on, this two millimeter crimp bean, and let's just see if we can see if it looks terrible or if we can um, make it look like that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> if not, I will do some wire wrapping and it's not even going to be a thing. All right. Let's just string on some beads just to see what it looks like. I don't know if that's going to even be a deal breaker. I think it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I don't think it does anyway. It's like silvery looking thread, so let's just see. All right, let's put on one of these little crystal body cones. These little twist beads. These are so pretty. You know, now that I look at it, I don't know if I'm gonna like that, you guys. Let's scrap that idea and I'm gonna dig out my wire and let's do some wrapping. All right, I will be right back. Okay, we're back and I have some 20 gauge artistic wire here that we're going to be using to wrap this. Um, the type of wire I chose, I chose it because I, I know it's soft, but it's still thick. So we're going to go ahead and use this and I've cut probably about six inch lengths, maybe too much material, but it's okay. And what's going to end up happening is I did cut four pieces of this chain, this, um, stainless chain that we're going to be using to connect these to the bottom. And that's going to be the start of our, um, little pieces that are going to fall out of our little uh, bead cap here. So um, what you do to do this, in case you've never done it, you just put your wire through the top of your bead, like so, and you're going to bring both pieces up and you don't want it to be perfectly centered. You're going to have a short piece and a long piece. So you just bring both up to the center, have a meet, like so, like a little triangle. And then you can bend the short one all the way straight over like this, and then take your pliers, bend the long one straight up. So it looks like this. Okay, and then you're going to make sure it's centered because I'm always like off centered. <laughs> so if you take your small one and you wrap it around your tall one, you can start what's going to be your wrap. And I typically only go around one time here, one or two times, but you're gonna be doing more wrapping, so it's okay if you only go around once and you wanna trim that off. So I just trim that off, and I'm going to squish it down, just gently, because you don't wanna really alter the shape of your wire either. And then we're going to do a wrap, and we're going to wrap it right onto the end of our chain, a wrap loop. So I have my round nose pliers, and I'm going to put it right about kind of in the middle of my pliers here. And you're just going to wrap it like you would anything else. So you're going to just bend the wire straight over, and then turn your pliers up and over the top, and back around and underneath, straighten that up. So now you have this. All right, <clears throat> remembering that I wanted to put that on my chain, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to string my chain 
right on top of this. And we're gonna hold this, close that back up, nice and gently. And I'm just going to hold it with my bed nose pliers. And because this is so soft, I can just go ahead and use my hand and guide it nice and neatly around that wire and all the way down. And you can go down as far as you like. That's as far as I'm gonna go, but you can go all the way down if you want to um, make it look kind of like a little bead cap. But I'm good right here where it's at. So we're gonna cut it off there. And we're going to squish that little piece in, like so. And there's our little raindrop. And I think it looks cute. So we're gonna go with that. All right, so let's do the rest of these real quick. Get those out of my way. All right. So we're gonna do four of these because I have four lengths of chain cut for them. So I started watching a movie today um, as I was doing some laundry and I didn't finish it yet, um, but I don't know if you've seen it. It's on Netflix right now and it's um, called Leave the World Behind. Julia Roberts is in it. And it's kind of like a science fiction type movie. I'm only halfway through. So I don't know what's going to happen. So I figured, I, um, I told myself, you need to do this for a little bit, take a break from the movie because you are um, been wanting to do it. And then when you're done, you can go finish the movie. So when I'm all done here, I'm gonna go finish the movie. And it's kind of my day today. So if I want to do another um, one of my planned projects later and film it, I'm probably going to do that. So. I'm just trying to kind of catch up from what, from being kind of off for a full week. So, um, you know, that way I can still keep myself, you know, doing my little fun little hobby that I enjoy so much and um, being able to put out videos for you guys to, you know, watch and teach me things from, because you guys always teach me something from each video I put up. All right. Let's open that little guy up. And this is the point I usually forget that that's what I was going to do, and then I end up closing it and having to use a jump ring or start over. So I'm trying to be super mindful of what I'm doing here today and not get too ahead of myself and end up making more work for myself. All right. Let's go ahead and finish this one up here. Okay, that one's good. I don't know why I didn't, you know, the first thing that um, did not come to mind was winter. Like I opened it and I saw winter, but I'm like, gosh, it kind of feels like spring in a way if it wasn't for the snowflakes. So um, of course I don't mind doing winter jewelry. I love winter jewelry, but I kind of wanted to do something that maybe wasn't wintery. So if maybe we're, you know, if there's anyone out there that's already tired of winter when it hasn't even started yet, um, you know, maybe there is something refreshing for you. I don't know. It's just a thought. I needed something refreshing for me, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay. And I like when I can manipulate the wire with my fingers. I feel like I have more control of it. Um, it it's really really good. I'll have to look and see. I got rid of the packaging because it kind of just came off the spool and I'll have to try to look and see where I got this wire because it's really it's really nice. It's it's perfect for this kind of situation um, where it's soft. Um, I don't use soft wire a lot because I know that um, if you're trying to make it 
be anything that needs to be stable on its own. You have to really work hard in it. So um, when you're making a wrap like this, it's just for me, um, and maybe it's not the right thing to do, but for me, it feels like it's the right thing to do. So I do it quite often when I'm wrapping something like this. And I figured they don't need to be on their own, like being held up by anything that's, um, oops, that was the cut link. So that's why I ended up doing it. Plus that way, I, like I said, I can manipulate it with my hands. And I do like that better because I feel like I can control that a little bit better. Here we go. Just go one more time back here. There. straighten it up a little bit there we go and we're gonna do one more like that okay whoops drop the little guy I love these little drops they're so cool looking I like how they have the AB finish super pretty and they're just so smooth and like, I just, I don't know. I have this thing about like the way beads feel like different textures. Like I love the super smooth ones that feel almost like it should be a piece of hard candy. Um, and I like the, the feel of like a good scratchy matte finish. <laughs> um, I like, I like all the different like textures for different reasons, but this is just so, just silky feeling. feed my chain on. I hope I'm staying in shot here for you guys. I haven't stood up to look in a minute. I usually try to do that to make sure I am staying where I said I was going to stay. But my arms seem to get like wild and my hands seem to get wild and I tend to just float off camera. All right, here we go. Let's get this situated. A nice little wrap here. There we are. Okay, and cut that off. Some of those larger pieces I will use. Don't be alarmed and think I'm throwing away those nice big chunks of wire. Cause I'm not, I'm a waste not and whatnot kind of person. I think you guys know that of me at this point. All right, so there's all my little droplets, okay? And now I just kind of want to see where this might end up. So um, I do want it to be a little bit on the long side and I do want to use some beads on here to kind of give it um, a little more, um, I guess, you know, sparkliness. So we're just gonna bring these small ones closer and we're gonna use quite a few of these little ones here to do some dangles. And we're gonna use um, a few of these bigger um, appetite ones, or I'm sorry, what were they? Agate ones, sorry, these agate ones. <coughs> All right, so let's get some head pins out. And I have a varying amount of head pins here, but I kind of want to use these little ball head pins. So I'm just kind of going through those and you can get those out of there. I just 
threw a bunch of head pins in a dish and ran with it. So we'll use these. And depending on how far I end up wanting to go, I don't want to make it like so heavy either. So I may trim off some of the chain or just fold the chain over and um, just make some just regular chain pieces that are kind of dangling out of there too as like filler, um, just to make it look a little more full. So let's start with this. And let's do, let's go ahead and put some of these bare blue ones on here. And I tried to pick the ones with the most swirls because I love those swirls. Those swirls are just pretty. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do wrap loops. And we're gonna just end up attaching them to the chain with a jump ring. So um, I'm just gonna make a bunch of these little wrap loops. I'm gonna make some of each one. And then instead of you guys having to be on watching me do all of them on camera, then um, I will pause it, finish up the wrap loops, and we will attach them all together. some of these smaller ones. These are so teeny tiny. I love them. I, I don't know what it is about the teeny tiny beads, you guys. I love teeny tiny beads. <laughs> They're so little. Maybe we can do the little ones with the bicones. Well, that would be pretty. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that for some of them too so we can really mix it up a little bit. some of these by cones by themselves. Do one here. And I'm probably even going to do just some silver little balls by themselves too, just to kind of um, fill it in some. And I apologize for my potting soil nails, you guys. I really thought I did better than that. <laughs> my plants needed some help. So I had to help them out a little bit. I'm gonna do a little blue one by itself too. my washing machine. You guys always get to hear it when I'm recording on a Sunday because I'm always doing laundry on a Sunday. Okay, there's a few of those and then let's do some of these just silver ones here. And I think those silver ones can honestly go on a regular head pin because since they're like a ball on their own, um, I just think it would look nicer. So, but we're still going to go ahead and do a wrap with these. The wrap is a little bit harder to do with these um, flat ones or a little bit thicker of a gauge, but if you hang on to it tight, it's not a problem. There we go. 
you can still straighten your loop if you need to. Okay, let's, why don't we start hooking some of these on so you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. And then um, I will go off camera and finish making these loops and we'll finish putting them on our, our um, little chains here. All right, so we need that and we need some small jump rings. So let's use these. We got some kind of fuzz coming from somewhere. I'm not really sure where that's coming from. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started here. And we're gonna start from the bottom because I'm not sure how far up I really wanna go. I know I cut some extra long, longer lengths of chain, but it's okay because even if I cut off a tiny little piece of chain, I will use it as like a connector for something. So I'm not really too worried about it. All right, but let's put this larger one about three little um, lengths up from the drop so it doesn't interfere with the drop. Kinda wanna keep that on its own. There we go. And then let's just kind of fill in in between with some of these other um, beads that we did. And I'm okay if there is some chain exposed in this um, project, of course. Um, the chain always ends up looking really pretty anyway, and I just think it kind of adds to what I'm trying to do here. That one's being a little bugger. It doesn't want to close all the way. There we go. All right. Let's get some more of these hooked on. And the great thing is this can still be considered winter weather jewelry, but I mean, I think you could wear it anytime. It doesn't have to be really, um, feel like a theme, you know what I mean? It just, it's, it, I think it's one of those things that's good for any time because I'm not putting anything like a snowflake or anything like that on it. Um, we're just using our pretty beads. I have one more little bead here to hang. I'm gonna go up a little bit with that. go ahead and um, pause this for a minute for you guys and I will be back and I will have more of these created for the rest of our um, little chains here. I'll be right back. Okay, I got all my little dangles made so let's go ahead and attach those on. Um, we're going to do them just kind of like this because they're all going to be, um, they're going to be layered. So let's go ahead and get those attached on. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to drop my tools. All right, so we need our little jump rings. And I'm using about a four millimeter jump ring here. Oh, let's use our big one first, kind of keeping the same, um, same kind of pattern that we were doing. So the third link up from the bottom here, from our little drop. Just do one at a time. 
You can sort of one of each item on here. So they all are the same. They might, the little ones might be in a different order, but all the same beads will be on each one of these little chains. So let's go here. Oops, get through the link there. Then we need one of these little guys, one of those, and one with the two beads. I'm glad I had it paused for a little bit because, um, of course, we're getting many packages a day right now, this time of year, um, and some of them aren't just us ordering. Um, I was actually uh, messaging with Carol, my friend Carol, this morning, and we were talking about beads and stuff and storage, and um, I sent her a photo of our tree as I was drinking my coffee, and she was drinking her coffee, and I said, all those packages are not us. So <laughs> we um, host Christmas here on Christmas Eve for um, everyone in the family, whoever wants to be here. Um, we also do Shane's birthday party that same night because it is Shane's birthday as well. And um, so we try to get as much family together as we can. It's usually his side of the family, like his sisters and um, his brother-in-laws and mom and dad. And um, so we, and of course, all their kids. And so we get all them over here together with us to celebrate. And um, of course this year it's gonna be wonderful because my mom and my brother are gonna be here too. Um, but since we host it, we get a lot of packages dropped off here. Um, that way they don't have to tote it the day of the party and then they, they can bring their little, <clears throat> excuse me, their little dish to pass instead. And, and then it's, it's all here. So um, we get random Amazon deliveries from other members of the family, um, and then they come over. I think my mother-in-law has had um, most of her stuff sent here, and she came over on Saturday and um, wrapped with Shane and um, while I was making cookies with my mom. So um, it just makes it a little more convenient for everybody. So right now my living room has like no room in it, and I think that we probably need to move the coffee table out for now just to give us more leg room. Um, our furniture is kind of big, so it, you know, we just don't have a lot of space right now. And you know, honestly, our living room isn't really that small, but because everything is so huge and we went with a bigger tree this year than what we normally go with in the past, um, it really, there's like no space. I'll have to, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll take a picture of it when I'm done here and I'll post it and I'll, I'll see if um, Shane can, not Shane, I'll see if Chris can put it at the end of the video so you guys can see um, what we have for like a mess going on in the <laughs> living room right now. It's um, actually, it's, it's quite funny, but I'm, it's great. It's, it's heartwarming and it's, it's so nice. And I love that we can all just get together. You know, Shane's side of the family, my side of the family, it doesn't matter. We're all family and um, we all open our hearts and homes to each other and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't want it any other way. All right, getting these done. We'll have one more dangle to make. After this one, we need some more jump rings pulled out here. And then we'll make our um, actual necklace. And we'll try it on. And um, I will probably make earrings and a bracelet to go with it um, for my next video. So uh, watch for that. I've been, instead of keeping you guys for like two and a half hours making a complete set, I've been trying to break it up to where I do like a necklace and earrings or um, I do a bracelet and earrings and then I do the other piece by itself. Um, it just, I feel like it works out better that way. You guys get to see the whole complete set, but you're not having to, you know, 
sit there for a long time or pause it and come back to it later. You can just kind of watch one um, good length tutorial and move on with your day. <laughs> There's so many other tutorials out there to watch. There's so much to learn all the time. And it was funny because I was reading online um, the other day and I was actually, I was looking up trends for 2024 to see if there's anything trending for spring of 2024. And I saw that um, peach fuzz is the Pantone um, color of 2024 and it's just this beautiful like a dusty peach color so all the colors in the peach family like that are going to be big for 2024 and at like the next day so to this morning actually I was looking on YouTube and I saw that Joey had posted a video and she had said that and I'm like oh oh her and I are reading the same stuff <laughs> it was so great so I got to watch this beautiful bracelet she made and huge, like beautiful, um, bold statement bracelet. It's really pretty. Um, if you get a chance, hop on over to Joey's um, channel and check it out because it's, it's really, really pretty. She did such a beautiful job. I also decided after watching some of her tutorials that, um, because it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, Hers and um, also, um, oh my goodness, why do I always do that? I, I start thinking of something and I forget. The Tapping Flamingo, the, um, the um, she does boho beads, like she makes her own beads. I know I've talked about it on here before and they're just beautiful. And um, so she does those. She makes hers mostly, I think, out of, out of sari silk. Um, but I, so I got to see her make them. And that's when I started really wanting to try to learn how to make them. And then I saw that Joey made some with the paper too. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I am going to give this a shot because I feel like I can make my own beads too. And I think it would be a really great um, thing to, uh, you know, be able to do for what I'm wanting to do with my my own little hobby or um, maybe business one day. So, all right, so now we have all these and we're gonna wanna put them all together. So you see when they're all together, how pretty that looks? And there is a lot of exposed chain, but I love that. So I think what we're gonna do to hook this together, it's probably gonna be the easiest thing is to use some of this wire that I have here. So let's just test this out and let's cut off a length of it. And let's see how we want to do this. So I kind of want to just bunch it all together like this and hang on to it and just start feeding this through the chain. So I'm going to make sure I'm giving myself enough space here to um, clear the flower petals. And like I said, we're gonna end up having some chain hanging down that doesn't have anything on it, but I'm more than okay with that. I think it'll be terrific. All right, so this is what I have. Let's see if I can do this in a way to where you guys can see what I'm doing here. So that's what it's going to look like. And I think that's gonna be really pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and do this wire like this. We're gonna pull it up together and we're going to go ahead and make the short one go sideways, just like if we were doing a briolette wrap, right? But this is gonna be a wrap that no one's going to see. So it's okay if it's going to be a little bit um, out of control <laughs> or um, a little bit messier. Um, but the whole point of this little wrap is just to hold everything together in one place. So let's just go ahead and wrap that up nice and snug. And I'm doing more than just one wrap here. I'm doing a couple because we just want that to hold together and be really nice and snug. All right, and I'll trim that off. All right. And let's go ahead and feed this on. 
So, and here we go. So that's what it looks like. Now, I could leave it open really wide like that, or you can just gently take this. This, this metal is, you know, malleable enough to where you can just gently push the petals together to make it just a little tighter. Oops, you know what? Let's pop that back through there because I don't want that wrap coming up through the top. We're gonna fix that. What we need to do to fix that is we just need to put a little bead on there. So let's use one of my little silver beads. There we go. We don't want that to pop through the top there. I forget how big those holes are. All right, so now we have that. That looks great. That looks really great. All right, so in order for this to feel complete it, for me, I want to go ahead and put, well, I think we should do one of these beads at the top because they're just really, really pretty. So let's put one of these right there like that. And let's go ahead and wrap this up and make a wrap loop out of it because we're gonna string this on our strand. And I know there's just no good way of holding this for you guys to see, like, I think it just looks pretty. All right. So, and we're gonna make it just a little bit wider of a loop. So I'm going about halfway down my uh, round nose pliers here. And we're just gonna make a nice wrap loop. All right, let's hang on to it with these guys. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it with my fingers. I'm trying to get a nice, tight, even wrap. And I'm gonna go down over top of the bead just a little bit to give it like a little swirly bead cap. And then I'm going to cut that off. Back here and just blend that in the best I can. without squishing my cute little round bead cap. There we go. All right, so that's what that looks like. And it's gonna hang just like that. And I'm gonna try to keep my little piece to the back there. All right, so let's go ahead and get some bead stringing wire. Move all this stuff off to the side. I'm gonna use some bead stringing wire and some chain today. So um, we're going to use probably about 10 inches of bead stringing wire. So let me just cut that off here. It's more like a foot. I always do more than what I need. It's just what I do. And then let me put the little cover back on this so it doesn't pop out and go all over the place. There we go. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and string this on first because we want this to be in the center. go. All right, and I'm going to put two of these little silver spacers right next to it. And because we use so many of the large agate beads, we don't necessarily need to use that many in the strand of the necklace. We can use um, some of those twist beads that I have laid out here. Um, definitely wanna use those. I still want to use some of those, but we don't need to use as many. I just think it also gives us an opportunity to use some of these beautiful um, faceted um, other spacers here. So let's go right in with these twist beads because these are just beautiful. And then let's follow that up with a couple of these little crystal beads. We have some of those. Let's go ahead and do these bicones. And then maybe a silver spacer on both sides here. I could be using my bead bug right now, but I'm trying to do both sides at the same time just so I can make sure I'm getting it mirrored correctly here. I do want to kind of keep it the same on both sides. All right, and so then let's do another one of these little crystals. And 
And let's grab a couple egg beads. And I think I wanna go with the darker ones. Um, I do love how pretty these are. They're just so pretty. And so let's go with a darker one on both sides with one of these in between. And then let's go with a more, like one of these like, it looks like a milky blue to me. I don't know, don't know if that makes sense, but it looks, it looks like a creamier blue. <laughs> All right, I think I need to get more of my little silver spacers out too, but let's go ahead and use, um, let's do a couple of these little tiny blue ones because these are so pretty too. They're just some of my favorites. So let's do this little light blue one here and this little light blue one here. Whoops, I had it on. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was a struggle. Let me just grab my little silver beads here real quick. I'm not gonna go up too far with these, but um, we do want to have a nice like beaded bottom part of this necklace. So let's go ahead and do um, the little silver spacer and another one of these little blue ones. I like having like the big beads and the little beads kind of divided sometimes. I think it just looks really cool. It gives it like a little bit of a dimension, I think. Um, I do I do like the way it looks when you go from like a larger bead in the middle to a smaller bead at the top. But I just think with this kind of necklace, I really like the way this happens. So let's go ahead and do a couple of these little twisty beads. And we're not gonna go up too much further, but we're gonna do a little bit more. So let's do um, the silver and another silver. I need to find more of these. Wasn't sure how many of those I was going to use, um, but it appears I'm using quite a few. I didn't just use them all, did I? Enough. I bought so many of those things. Let's see what we have here. If you were expecting me to be um, fully ready to roll, I'm sure you knew better at this point. <laughs> you know that's not the case. It's not going to always happen with me. But I might have a different one here. I guess a little petite one. You know what, we will put that one back and let's use some of the smaller ones since we're going up. I got these, I actually got these from Team you guys and they're really, really, really pretty. And they're tiny, I kind of like them, they're real dainty. So let me go ahead and get that open here. Somebody took my scissors off my desk. I don't know who that could have been. <laughs> Name one kid, one teenage boy. All right, so we have those. And let's go ahead and do some of these lighter ones now. And then we can bring in some of the light blue colors. Let's do one even lighter on top of that one. Pretty, very pretty. All right, so let's do the same thing over here. We got like a little bit of a lighter one. And a spacer. And then a super light one. There we go. There. All right, so I think Maybe we'll go up just a little bit more. I think I wanna use a couple more of those twist beads and maybe a couple more of the agate beads too. But let's do some of these smaller bicones after this one again. 
with our little silver bead in the middle. There we go, and another bicone. I'm loving using all this silver stuff right now too. I have so much silver that I, um, cause I love gold and I love copper and I love, um, I love like the antique brass too. But um, <laughs> I have so much silver because I don't use it as often as I think I should. All right, so let's do some more of the lighter ones. I'm not a big fan of that one. Let's put that one back. Let's do those four. We'll do these and then we'll do some more twist beads and then we'll just about end end it there um, we'll put our crimp beads on and our and stuff and we'll attach our chain all right so now let's do our little twisty beads One more on each side here. And let's go ahead and end it with a bicone and a little blue guy at the end here. Put those away. All right, so my bicone, a little blue one. There we go. My goodness, it was struggling. All right, so let's put this one on. Oops. And let's get our other supplies here that we need. And this time I am going to put on my little <coughs> bead stopper because when I go to pull this up for gravity to do its job. I don't want to lose it. Again, thank you, Teresa, for your thoughtful little gift here. You know I'm stubborn. All right, so we need our um, two or number two bead on crimp bead. I have some crimp tubes coming finally. I've been, I'm like, you have these beads and they're just as good and you really need to use them. You know, it's not like I left myself with the ones that I don't like to use. Um, I just prefer the tubes instead of the beads. Like I feel like the beads are a little more um, chunky to try to like squish down. Like they take a little bit more muscle, I guess. I don't think my little tail is gonna fit in there, but that's okay, we can cut that right off. Come right up to the top there, as close as we can to get to that crimp. Trim that right off. And then we'll just let gravity do its trick. And there we go. Let's grab another crimp bead. Thought I had another one open. Oh, that's right, I did have another one open, but we practiced with something at the beginning of this and ended up tossing that. There we go. Just need one. So I got my crimp bead. There we go. And my wire guardian. And we're gonna use jump rings to attach to the chain. Um, I noticed with my last project that when I when I do these to that small chain, it really ends up like kind of getting caught up in the link. And it'll, it'll sometimes like not lay right. So I wanna use the jump ring for sure. But we'll use a small one so it won't even really be noticeable. All right, let's get this all squared away. Make sure it's all the way down. There we go. And let's crimp that. 
And again, just get some of the crimp. And let's cut off that wire because we don't need it and it won't fit down in that little bead. So let's just get rid of it. There we go. All right, so here we have our necklace, our part of our necklace. Let's get the chain out. And what I do with my chain, there it is. All right, so we're gonna use what we have here um, and I am going to put an extender on it. So that way, if somebody does want to um, have it longer, they can. And what's great is every time there's this, an extender on a chain, I save it. So I actually have one here um, that we're going to use. So there's that extender. <laughs> and I will set that aside. Oh, you know what? If we're going to do that, then we're not going to use this guy, are we? Hmm. You know what? I really want to use this toggle clasp, so let me get more chain than that then, just to be on the safe side. We're going to go ahead and use the chain that came in our um, bargain bead box, and I would like this to be probably, whoops, probably about that long on each side. Let's go ahead and trim this off here. I don't, you know, these are literally brand new cutters. Why are they already being awful? <laughs> Do I just use them too much? Or is it just that thick? All right, let's um, get this matching up here. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot better. It won't be too short. We do like our tassel necklaces to be a little bit longer. They look really nice with like a, a little sweater or, um, you know, everyone loves doing the little shirts underneath your um, uh, longer cardigans. It looks really cute. Maybe with some short boots and some jeans. All right, there we go. And now we can use our jump rings that we need to attach at. So we're gonna need the small ones. Um, and let's use for up behind our neck. Let's just use a little bit larger ones, not too big, but probably like a five millimeter. Yeah a little bit bigger there we go all right so let's get our pliers because we don't need any of this other stuff anymore and let's get this hooked onto our chain all right here's our one side right through the first link. Something happened with my curl. There we go. I'm like, what is going on with my end? It was not sitting right. I might want to put like, that's the other thing too, is when I use crimp tubes, I don't usually want to put um, crimp bead covers over top of them because they look fine, but Whenever I use the crimp beads, I don't care how good the brand is, I just, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just not doing it right, guys. See that? I didn't have my jump ring closed all the way. Let's fix that. All right, let me, let me get a good close on this jump ring. <laughs> all 
All right, that's better. That's much better. I'm gonna actually see how this. Okay, pretty good. Except for I did make it too long, but that's okay. We will use this chain in something else. I always do. I'm not, I'm not good about measuring, you guys. I, I should probably get better. Um, I had someone tell me that I really needed to use a ruler. And I'm like, yeah, I have a measuring tape. I just choose not to. So it's kind of my thing. It's what I do. Um, if I was professionally selling this to people, I would probably, um, well, I know when I do make stuff for people that request things, um, I do tend to measure um, what they need because I am getting size specific things. But um, this is for me and this is what I do for me because I know what I like. All right. There we go. All right. All right, let's go ahead and hook this on. And again, make sure that jump rings close because you saw what I just did, right? All right, there we go. And this chain is really fine, so it slips, but it slips through the smallest opening. I mean, you couldn't try to put the chain through that opening, like, and be successful at it. But if it, you just move it in one little spot and it just pops through, it doesn't really matter. It's like it finds the smallest little opening and it makes its way out. I don't know how it does that, but it does. Okay. All right, guys, we got our necklace made. Here's our cute little toggle that goes, which I think, so well with the design. Um, so here we go. I will turn the camera around here in a second, and I will show you what it looks like on, and I think it looks darling. All right, I'll bring it back, you guys. Okay, I've got it on, and I do this every time. Let me turn that light off. There we go, so now you can see it. But there we go, that's what it looks like. And it's perfectly long enough for me. That's exactly where I would like to see it go. I thought, I think it turned out really pretty. And I like how the chain is real small and that is like the best length right there. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will um, work on trying to figure out how I wanna do a bracelet and earrings for this. And that way we have another complete set and another video. So um, thank you for joining me again. I hope you have a wonderful day. We're getting really close to Christmas and um, <laughs> it's gonna be great. So whatever you're celebrating, I hope it's blessed and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and try to be easy on yourself this coming week. Um, everyone is busy, everyone's got a lot going on. And just remember to try to always be really kind to others. You have no idea what they're going on, going on with them this time of year. Um, someone could have just lost someone they love. Um, somebody could be struggling financially, emotionally. Um, there's a lot of things going on, especially this time of year, depression runs high. Um, please remember to always be kind and understand that someone's going through something prob probably that you have no idea about. Um, but much love to you all and I will see you soon. Bye.